Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Augustine. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and you not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to build the mathematics community. Remember to like, share, and leave your comments. Now, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to prove using the principle of mathematical induction. So join me as we go through this lesson. Now let's listen to a question. Proof using the principle of mathematical induction that for all numbers, subset of natural numbers, 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus up to n times into bracket n plus 1 is equal to n times into bracket n plus 1 times into bracket n plus 2 all divided by 3. Now, how do we prove using the principle of mathematical induction? We will first look at the base case. That is for P1. That is when n equal to 1. You have 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 2 all divided by 3 which is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 all divided by 3 which is equal to 1 times 2 3 divided by 3 will go that is 1 now after the base step we will look at the inductive hypothesis that is where we will assume that n equal to k is also true so you have the induct uh, chief hypothesis as pk is true and that will give us 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus k times n sorry k times k plus 1 equal to k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 all divided by 3. Then you use this inductive hypothesis. That is, you use this assumption to say that P K plus 1 is also true. So this implies that we have to sum from 1 times 2 up to K plus 1. So let's do the summation. We have 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus k. That is our assumption. So we have k times k plus 1 plus. Now we are going to put n equal to k plus 1. So that will give us k plus 1 times. Here n is k plus 1. So we have k plus 1 and we have another plus 1. Wow. So 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So we can put 2 there. It's equal to. So if we come here, we put k plus 1 wherever we see n. So we are going to have k plus 1 times. Okay. Let me write it here. It's equal to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1. That will give us k plus 2. So here we put k plus 1 here and we have plus 2. So that will give us k plus 3. All divided by 3. So now we are going to prove. Using the principle of mathematical induction that the sum of all these is equal to this. So now, how do we do that? But remember that we have done this already. We have done the sum from here up to k 
So here we are going to replace this one by that. That is what we have here. Because this is our P1. This is our P1. P1 will give us 1.2. And from here to here is our PK. So we are going to have this to be equal to K times K plus 1. times k plus 2 all divided by 3 that is what we have here if we sum from p1 to k we are going to have this plus this is our k plus 1 so k plus 1 times k plus 2 so we are going to show that if we sum from this up to the k plus 1 term, we are going to get this. Very, very simple as that. So now let's go with that. So this is equal to, we have k plus 1, k plus 2. k plus 1, k plus 2. So you can factorize k plus 1 times k plus 2 out. And here we left with k divided by 3 plus 1. Very, very simple as that. And this will give us k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 all divided by 3. And this is equal to k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 all divided by 3 as pk plus 1. Now, let's look at something. We want to see that at the end, wherever we are having n, you get k plus 1 there. So here, you see that here we have k plus 1. Here we don't have k plus 1, it is k plus 2. So this, we can write this as k plus 1 times k plus 2 is the same as k plus 1 plus 1. And k plus 3 is the same as k plus 1 plus 2 all divided by 3 so now we've proved using the principle of mathematical induction so you see that we have k plus 1 here as n we have this k plus 1 here as n and we have this k plus 1 here as n so you see that at the end we have shown that if pk is 2 then pk plus 1 is also true for all numbers subset of natural numbers. Very, very simple as that. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.